Hey guys, welcome back to Boss Gaming. Uh, in today's video, I'm coming at you with what I probably think is one of the most useful mods that you can use in Elden Ring, um, and that's going to be the Boss Resurrection mod. Um, so pretty much what that is, is once you kill a boss at a certain area, um, you have the abilities to bring them back to life and you know, go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. Again, and you can do that as many times as you'd like um, so I really find it useful um, if you don't want to you know start a new game um, where the difficulty is going to be higher or anything like that you can kind of just stay in the game that you're in right now and just keep <clears throat> bringing these bosses back to life like you haven't even killed any of them so you can pretty much restart restart as much as you want um, so as you can see here, I am in the Urchu Sanctuary here. And typically, and obviously, I'm in the Lindell Cap uh, Ash Capital right now. So I'm towards the end of the game here. Um, but there's a boss typically here. If you come through this doorway here, there's going to be a boss right here. Um, so obviously, he's not here right now because I've killed him already. Um, so how this works is... Um, so... Typically, you don't want to be at the gray site um, where the boss usually is. Um, so typically, what you want to do is go to the next closest one. So I'll go to this one right here, um, the queen's bed chamber. Right here. Um, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and sit down at the gray site. Um, and uh, there's going to be an option down here, boss for resurrection here. So what you should do is come down here and find the place that you're in so we're gonna go all the way down here to Lindell Ash Capital and here's the boss that I want to resurrect so you click on him and he's gonna say this boss is dead okay so he's just come down here and you click resurrect and it's gonna take a rune fragment from you to resurrect the boss so no big deal nothing too bad really click yes now it says this boss is alive okay so what we can do now is, as you can tell, that great site is now gone, right? So I'm going to go back here to the Capital of Ash great site, and we're going we're gonna to go um, back up, up those stairs, up the lift there, to where the boss will be, and I will show you that this actually works. show you that you know you actually can't kill him you can fight him again it's not just he respawns and you can't do anything no you can actually fight him again and you also get runes from killing him again so i think that's pretty cool like i said i i really truly believe this is probably one of the useful mods that you can actually have in the game without necessarily breaking the game itself i mean i know there's a ton of mods out there where you can just become God mode and no clip stuff like that. Modded weapons, yeah, they're fun and all, but it kind of takes away the fun in the game itself because it kind of kind of takes away the challenge of it, right? So for me personally, you know, I'd rather just keep bringing these bosses back so I can fight them because that's kind of the fun part of the game, right? Is fighting bosses. So you know, if you can keep doing that over and over and over, and you don't have to restart, if you like the difficulty that you're at. Then this is the mod for you. Um, so here, as you can tell, the fog walls here, um, and it says transverse the mist. Uh, go ahead and come in here. Boom, there he is. So I've already killed him. This is the second time I've killed him. Uh, I'm not gonna show you me killing him again. Uh, but that is that. You know, I'm just gonna go ahead and let him do it. But anyway, so how you get the mod is, it's pretty simple. It's all down until now. Uh, if you go to the next mods, I'll leave a link down in the description to get to uh, the mod itself. The mod main is Boss Resurrection. So what you do is you download that, and it's completely safe. Um, you download it, it's going to be a zip file. Uh, you extract all the contents from that. And you're also going to have to download the mod engine as well. 
mod, mod engine too, specifically. At least that's the one I'm using. Um, there's different versions and stuff. Uh, I forgot which version I'm using. Um, but anyway, so you're going to want to download that. And that's going to be in the description of the mod itself. So you'll be able to download the mod itself and the mod engine too. Um, so what you're going to do, you download both of them. You extract all the contents from both the boss resurrection mod and the mod engine 2. Then you'll have a folder. Typically, I'll extract it to my desktop so it's easier. Uh, you have a folder that says Mod Engine 2. You click on that, and there's going to be another folder within that that says Mod or Mods. What you're going to do with that is you're going to go back to your Boss Resurrection mod that you downloaded, extract the contents out of that, copy and paste all the contents, and paste them into the Mod folder in the Mod Engine 2. Um, and then in the mod engine 2 folder there'll be a launch Elden Ring batch file and what you do is click on that and it'll launch Elden Ring with the mod installed um, and then if you've done it correctly you can go up to a grace site and it'll have that boss resurrection uh, option for you so anyways guys um, short video I want to make it you know short and sweet but I just thought it's probably one of the most useful mods in the game, in my opinion, without totally breaking the game itself. Um, it gives it a lot more replayability. Um, so I would highly recommend checking it out. Like I said, I'll leave um, a link down in the description so you can go directly to it and make it nice and easy for you. So anyways, guys, hope you found this video useful. And if you did, go ahead and leave a like. So anyways, guys, peace out.